The state of Texas is currently facing a significant public health challenge. A measles outbreak has spread across communities, causing considerable alarm. Health officials have reported a worrying number of confirmed cases. As of the latest updates, this figure has exceeded 720 individuals. This sudden rise has put immense pressure on healthcare providers and public health systems. The situation underscores the highly contagious nature of the measles virus. Urgent measures are being implemented to control the spread and protect vulnerable populations from this preventable disease. The speed at which the cases have accumulated has rightly concerned many residents. In direct response to this escalating crisis, there has been an unprecedented spike in measles vaccinations throughout Texas. Parents and guardians are rushing to ensure their children receive the MMR or measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine. This surge is particularly noticeable among the youngest members of the community, specifically infants and toddlers. Clinics and doctor's offices have reported a dramatic increase in demand for the vaccine. This heightened awareness and proactive response from the public offer a glimmer of hope. It demonstrates a collective understanding of the gravity of the situation. The community is clearly mobilizing to protect its most vulnerable. Data provided by Truveta, an electronic health record analysis company, paints a clear picture of this vaccination surge. Their findings, though preliminary and not yet peer-reviewed, are striking. For six-month-old children in Texas, vaccination rates in April 2025 increased by more than 30 times compared to the previous year. Similarly, for 10-month-old infants, the rate saw an increase of more than tenfold. These figures highlight a significant shift in parental behavior. The data strongly suggests that the outbreak has served as a stark reminder of the importance of timely immunizations. This rapid uptake is a crucial step in curtailing the further spread of the virus. The increase in vaccinations did not happen overnight but rather gained momentum over several weeks. The trend began to emerge in February 2025. It then accelerated significantly in March and April 2025. This acceleration followed a critical health alert network notice issued by the CDC on March 7, 2025. Before this outbreak, the vaccination landscape was quite different. Fewer than 2% of Texas babies under the age of one year were vaccinated. Now, this figure has climbed substantially, with around 10% of children receiving the vaccine by the time they reach 10 months old. This change reflects a swift public health response. The measles outbreak has unfortunately brought with it profound human suffering and tragic consequences. The severity of the illness cannot be understated. Reports have confirmed the heartbreaking deaths of two young girls in West Texas due to measles complications. Additionally, an unvaccinated adult in the neighboring state of New Mexico also succumbed to the virus, highlighting that measles is not just a childhood illness. These losses serve as a grim reminder of the potential dangers of this highly infectious disease. Every case represents a personal tragedy and a strain on families and communities. The impact reverberates far beyond mere statistics. Amidst the fear and uncertainty, stories of parental resolve have emerged. Concerned parents across Texas are taking proactive steps to protect their children. For instance, Kayla Hunter and Harmony Montes from Lubbock made the decision to vaccinate their children, aged two years and six months respectively, earlier than the standard schedule would typically dictate. Kaya Hunter, also from Lubbock, similarly chose to vaccinate her two-year-old son in March 2025. These parents, driven by a desire to safeguard their children's health, exemplify the heightened awareness and urgency felt by many families. Their actions reflect a growing understanding of the protective power of vaccination. Local health departments have been working tirelessly to meet the increased demand for vaccinations. In Lubbock, for example, the local health department has administered over 500 MMR doses since the outbreak began. Beyond these direct efforts, local healthcare providers in the area have administered more than 2,500 additional doses than what would typically be expected in the last three months. This collective effort showcases the dedication of healthcare professionals on the front line. They are working diligently to ensure that vaccines are accessible to all who need them. This rapid deployment of resources is crucial in containing the outbreak. Understanding the MMR vaccine schedule is important, especially during an outbreak. The standard recommendation involves two doses. The first dose is typically given when a child is around their first birthday. The second dose is usually administered when the child is aged four or five. 
However, in situations like the current Texas outbreak, health authorities can recommend adjustments. The first dose of the MMR vaccine can be given to infants as early as six months of age to provide earlier protection. This flexibility in the vaccination schedule is a vital tool in public health responses to outbreaks of this nature. The MMR vaccine is a highly effective tool in preventing measles. Its protective power is well documented. A single dose of the MMR vaccine is approximately 93% effective at preventing the disease. When an individual receives the recommended two doses, the effectiveness increases to an impressive 97%. This high level of efficacy means that widespread vaccination can create a strong barrier against the virus, known as herd immunity. The reliability of the MMR vaccine is a cornerstone of public health strategies aimed at eliminating measles. Its track record over decades speaks volumes about its success in protecting populations globally. Measles is far from a mild childhood illness, it can lead to severe and life-altering complications. This is particularly true for unvaccinated individuals, especially young children and those with weakened immune systems. Potential complications include encephalitis, which is an inflammation of the brain. It can also cause deafness, blindness, and even permanent brain damage. The outbreak has seen hospitalizations, such as in El Paso, where three of the five individuals hospitalized were adults. These serious outcomes underscore the importance of vaccination not just for individual protection, but for community health. Preventing these complications is a primary goal of vaccination programs. The reasons behind this outbreak are complex and multifaceted. One significant factor is vaccine hesitancy, which has been a growing concern in recent years. Misinformation and unfounded fears about vaccines can lead some parents to delay or refuse immunization for their children. Texas law also allows for vaccine exemptions for reasons of conscience, including religious beliefs. This can contribute to pockets of unvaccinated individuals within communities making them more susceptible to outbreaks. Interestingly, in El Paso, which has high childhood vaccination rates, the outbreak has predominantly affected adults, highlighting different areas of vulnerability. The situation in El Paso provides valuable insights. Despite strong vaccination coverage among children with 96% of kindergartners and 98% of 7th graders fully vaccinated, the city has still recorded 56 cases. Two-thirds of these infections are among adults. This contrasts with Gaines County, the epicenter, where the outbreak initially spread among children before moving to adults. Statewide, the 722 cases are more evenly spread across different age groups. Consequently, Public health efforts in El Paso are now shifting focus towards vaccinating adults. Many adult healthcare providers do not routinely stock the MMR vaccine, creating a logistical challenge that needs addressing. The measles outbreak in Texas is not an isolated incident. It occurs against a backdrop of falling childhood vaccination rates across the United States. This decline has been linked to a rise in vaccine hesitancy, often fueled by misinformation, particularly in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. Partisan divisions have also unfortunately played a role in shaping public perceptions of vaccines. Nationally, approximately 96% of measles cases reported in the U.S. in 2025 have been among individuals who are unvaccinated or whose vaccination status is unknown. This clearly demonstrates where the primary vulnerability lies within the population. The scale of the measles resurgence in the United States this year is concerning. The nation has reported over 1,000 measles cases and 14 distinct outbreaks in 2025 alone. This figure brings the country alarmingly close to the century's highest number of cases, which was 1,274, recorded in 2019. The current situation serves as a stark reminder that measles can quickly return if vaccination levels drop. Furthermore, the outbreak has shown its potential to cross borders, with cases also reported in Chihuahua, Mexico, which shares a border with El Paso. Concerns have been raised about potential spread in large Mennonite communities spanning both regions. Despite the challenges posed by vaccine hesitancy, there is evidence that a majority of Americans trust the MMR vaccine. A poll conducted by the University of Pennsylvania's Annenberg Public Policy Center found that 83% of Americans believe the benefits of the MMR vaccine outweigh any potential risks. This strong public confidence is encouraging. It suggests that clear, accurate information and robust public health messaging can resonate with a significant portion of the population. Capitalizing on this underlying trust is essential for future public health campaigns. 
Education and transparent communication are key to reinforcing the importance of immunization. The current outbreak underscores the critical need for sustained public health initiatives and comprehensive vaccine education. Health officials are urging Congress to provide adequate resources. These resources would enable state and local governments to effectively prevent measles through robust vaccination programs and to respond swiftly to outbreaks when they occur. Dr. Susan J. Cressley, president of the American Academy of Pediatrics, has emphasized that measles deaths are preventable through immunization. The path forward requires a concerted effort from healthcare providers, policymakers, and community leaders to ensure that everyone has access to life-saving vaccines and accurate information.